enough for me to heal? Is that enough for my son to get past that? Like, I don't know. We still got to live with videos of her calling my son all these names and pointing a gun at my son. We still got to live with that. So what are y'all talking about? The fuck are y'all talking about? And it is Krishan's fault that her baby came out the way he came out. Has she had more, you know, motherly instinct or been, you know, just regular and like, I don't even know the word, but have you been like, you know, on your shit, you, your son would be okay, but it's your fault. It's not like he came out like that because he came out that way. Oh, bitch, you drank, you smoked, you pop pills, whatever the fuck you did is what you did. That's my, not my problem. Like, I said what the fuck I said, bitch. Ain't nobody give a fuck when it was my son. So at the end of the day, like, what y'all want me to do? What do you guys want me to do? It does not matter. Like, whatever y'all are talking about is irrelevant. Does that make a difference? I still got to live with what she did for my son. The pointing the gun at my son, when she pointed the gun, I didn't know that until three years, four years later. Like, I never knew she pointed the gun at my son. I didn't know that when I lived with them. The fuck? I'm just finding out this type of news. Like, that's why I keep bringing it up. Because when did you point a gun at my son? And everybody's sending me pictures and lives and all these different things and shit, bitch. I never would have did that to nobody or they kid. And it's not even in my character for real, for real, to even speak on nobody's kid. But to clarify, I said what I said. But if y'all want to take it there, technically speaking, it is Krishan's fault that her son came out the way he came. Because why are you drinking? Why are you smoking with your kid in your stomach? That's supposed to be precious. You, that's, that's very sensitive. You cannot be doing that. Now the baby's crying a certain way, looks a certain way. Y'all, everybody talks about this kid. Everybody says what they say about this kid. I'm saying she, it's her fault. So what are y'all talking about? At the end of the day, it is her fault. It's not the baby's choice. Like the baby didn't come out because that's how the baby came out. Whatever syndrome or whatever's going on with the kid, she still hasn't got that figured out or checked out and just totally ignoring it. Like she needs to get that figured out because that could definitely hurt the baby later in life. Like you don't even know if something's really, really drastically wrong with your kid. As a mother, that's what you need to do first. Instead of worrying about vacations and shit. Whatever you doing now. That instead of doing that, you should be worrying about what's going on with your kid. At least taking them to the doctor. Even Blue said himself that she didn't even go to a regular hospital when the baby was born. She had to go to whatever the fuck, a private something because something she was drinking and doing too much with that kid. That if she would have went to a regular that her baby would have been taken even blue these are blue's words out his fucking mouth this is what blue has told me so what are y'all talking about like blue's called his own kid retarded he's like i don't even think that's my kid that retarded ass baby that's what blue told me so y'all coming at me for saying something that was told to me at the end of the day did nobody give a fuck when it was my son or give a fuck when it was me so what are y'all talking about stop playing with me the fuck i'm supposed to care Nigga, that's not, it's not my fucking problem. The fuck? My problem is me, my kid, and Blueface. Everything else is everybody else shit. That has nothing to do with me. The reason why Blue's in jail is because of other bitches. That ain't got nothing to do with me. So what are y'all talking about? The fuck? Like, y'all are always on some bullshit. Oh, he ain't doing your own. Well, let's talk about Armani. Who's go Justice for Armani. Justice for Armani. What the fuck? Justice for Armani. Bonnie's kid. Kids are off limits. Bonnie's kid. Cancel Krishan. Let's let's focus on Bonnie's kid, Armani. Armani Jordan. Let's go. Woohoo, Armani Jordan. Let's save Armani Jordan. He has rights. Justice for Armani. The fuck are you talking about? Like, stop playing with me. Anyways, and then... Hold on, bro. Hmm. Because the bitch is hungry. I just came from the studio... Um, and then let's talk about baddies. I get invited out to the auditions. I'm hearing Nikki about to be there. DJ Scott, all these people finna be there. So I'm like, ooh, it ain't nothing to get a ticket to Miami real quick. Let me pull up. So I fucking pull up or whatever, right? And what you call? I was standing there in line for like a little bit, but I didn't know that they was going to be all day with this shit. And mind you, it was my birthday 
And I had a booking in San Diego. So I had to fly to Miami in the morning and then stay like a few hours and fly right back to get to my booking or whatever. You know, I had shit to do. Turned up. So I had to do all this shit in like 12 hours. Or like not 12 hours, but like technically, you know. So I had like a few hours in uh, Miami. I just, you know, audition, whatever. I get there. I'm standing there. They, Natalie Nunn is late. Lemire Palmer. Everybody late. I'm looking at the time like it's time to go. <laughs> like it's time to go. So I stay as long as I can. I didn't get to audition, which was dumb as fuck because I needed to talk to Krishan's sister, Tasiki. Also, I was finna fight DJ Sky if necessary, but clearly she didn't want to fight. I never saw Nikki, but apparently, I don't know, she saw me. She's talking about some, she never saw me, but took a picture with me. Like literally my back was in the picture. I'm like, bitch, that's me right there. What are you talking about? Like, anyway, no, but just wanted it. Let's just clarify that. So I wanted to talk to uh, Tasiki or whatever. And I wanted to let her know, like, you know, like, I'm sorry that you have a sister that, like, like, I'm sorry, you got a sister, like, how you have a sister. I said, you know, you feel me? Like, I got siblings and family members and I have similar stories to, to you. And I just wanted to let her know, like, I don't fuck with your sister. Me and, me and Krishan used to be friends, obviously, but it was always fake on her end. It was never no genuine real shit. She always felt threatened by me. She always was jealous. Everybody knows that from before they could tell in all the shit that she was jealous in every video. I actually gonna find a video and post it. She was looking at me while I was on live, turned up looking cute. She was looking at my back like, like just in the background giving me a dirty ass look. You feel me? So anyways, I was finna let Tasiki know like this down the third and the baddies know like I'm a bad bitch. What's up? Like, you know, you feel me? And then, um... But anyway, so they talking about bitches was finna get 5K and tickets and all this and that. Mind you, I didn't get to audition. Like, I just basically went to Miami for no reason. But I was finna catch faves. But that just never happened because bitches disappeared in the night. And never saw a bitch. None of them. So, and I didn't get to go into the room. Because once I got inside, it was like you had to wait hella longer. And it was just like, I'm looking at the time like, I'm not even finna make it. Like, I gotta go back... I gotta fly back to um, Cali and I gotta go perform and stuff. So, um, anyway, and some bitches actually never even got to audition because that's how long it took to the point where motherfuckers canceled and was like, all right, I'm done doing this for the day. Like, it's over. It's a wrap. But anyway, so what you call it? Baddies, Caribbean, Lemire Palmer, Zeus Network, Natalie Nunn. Like, where is everybody's 5K at that y'all promised? Because nobody got that because I had bitches contact the end even asked like did you win like did you get past like you feel me how's the auditions they're like oh no nobody got the 5k there was like a couple of tickets but it wasn't the 5k it was just now i'm waiting for a call back this that and the third and then y'all had the nerve to take all fucking day a bitch didn't even get to audition so even if i wanted to be on the show it's like i want to audition is there a different type of way to put or because they've been watching me they've been looking at all my stories all my shit Names popping up, Natalie Nunn, Zeus, Lamir Palmer, Janisha, all these people have been watching me. So if y'all are watching me, but ain't nobody saying shit, what y'all trying to do? What's up? Put me on a show or, or, or do I have to audition? Like I'm trying to figure out what's the next step because a lot of bitches didn't get to audition. On top of that, nobody got this motherfucking money. So now what? Now what, what do bitches do? So I'm popping. So I'm trending every day. So what do you want to do? And I don't even want to put nobody on blast, but where's the money? Because if I wanted to win the money, where the fuck is that at? Ain't not one bitch won 5K at all. So y'all lured bitches in talking about, oh, it's 5K. I got 100K to give to 25 bitches, right? 5, 10, 50, 20, 20, 30, 35, 40, 45. Fifty-five, sixty. Oh, no. Yeah, whatever. Y'all get the fucking math. But it was 5K for like 25 bitches. I don't know if that's 100K. That should be 100K. To the math that they said. So if y'all had 100k, 5k, there was no bitches who got that at all. And I highly doubt that bitches from the audition is really finna make it. Because this is what they do every single time. Bitches show up. It's all for the show. They want to put this as an episode. Bitch, y'all, like, bitches is really out here trying to make it. What's up? Don't watch me every fucking day and then not say shit and then skip over everything. Like, either you want me on the show or not. Like, what's good? Zeus. Lemire, whatever, and Natalie, all y'all, whoever, like, stop. Do not be no scammers, please. 
please don't be no scammers because I really flew out there. I spent my hard fucking working money to be out there on a flight, bitch, real fast. Really, really, though, I wanted to fight some motherfuckers, but it didn't happen that way. So moving forward, now now what's, what's the next steps for the bitches that technically didn't get to audition or make it to the fucking thing? You feel me? Period. So what's the next steps? Somebody send this to Zeus. Somebody send this to Natalie and Lemire. And any of them. Janisha. Motherfuckers need to know, like, we see you. And y'all are not playing. Like, y'all really scammed everybody. Because don't have me canceling Zeus. Either you're going to put me on a show or what's happening for real for real in real life like what's up in real life you feel me like do not play with me the fuck and it's more so not even like even if i don't make it on the show like i'm okay with that but it's for the bitches who really really don't have it and put you like spent they last to be there to really show up because they thought they had a fucking opportunity and a chance in life like i don't do that to people who had to fly out book hotels it's like spend thousands of dollars on this ticket to be standing in lines for hours and hours and hours and hours while y'all lollygagged and drank on, on live, ate food, got your hair and makeup done, just taking your sweet fucking time. The shit was supposed to start at 12.30 in the afternoon. Y'all, nobody showed up till 6.30 p.m. at night. Niggas stood in line all day and bitches was there like, and still had to wait and like didn't even stop the auditions till like 12 or 2 a.m. or whatever the fuck time, like, you guys have motherfuckers there all day to still give nobody no fucking money. Or a chance. I mean, I'm not gonna say a chance to be on TV, but it's given, like, if y'all not giving out money or, like, real tickets, it's like, y'all just out here faking it for the fucking show. Which everybody kind of knew, but it was like, you're not gonna play. There's bitches that had millions of followers who had to stand in that line as well. This is bigger than me. There's bitches bigger than me Millions of followers having to stand in that line that you would think would have a real chance and they didn't even get no money or a ticket or nothing. Like, what? It's, it's happening. Make this shit, make that It's like, this is not it. Zeus, step your game up. The fuck? Lamira Plummer, what's up with a spot on baddies? Because at this point, I feel played. I'm just feeling really played at this point because don't have me in line. Don't have me book my ticket. And then I don't even get a chance to audition. Okay, I, yeah, I had a flight, but niggas wasn't planning to stand in line all fucking day. Now you're sending the bitches that didn't get to audition to the next day. The, like, and, and there was never no 5K. It was like, what's happening for real? What's going on? But anyways, send this to Zeus because I need a spot on baddies and I'm not going to keep playing with these people. Don't watch my stories all day every day and just be watching just to watch. Because, bitch, now I'm the show. At this point, I'm the fucking show. Y'all watching me. So what's good? What's good with it? Like, let that...